What's up, guys? Another point for 19. Another review for you guys today. I'm gonna review Backlash 2009. You see on the cover, right up the bat, you have Randy Orton on the cover. I really like it. And his tattoos match the way it says Backlash, which is even cooler. And yeah, it says Backlash on the side. WWE Backlash 2009. And you have the back. Uh, you see you have the Edge and John Cena match. The Randy Orton, Rhodes, and DiBiase versus. Uh, Triple H, Batista, and Shane McMahon match. And let me just read it for you guys the back. Coming off the 25th anniversary of WrestleMania, WWE rivalries intensified. Rain Jordan and legacy members Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase challenged Triple H and partners Batista and Shane McMahon to a six man tag match for the game's WWE Championship on the line. It's extreme sibling rivalry. Will Matt Hardy or Jeff Hardy utter the humiliating phrase, I quit? John Cena defends his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against his longtime Nemesis Edge in the Last Man Standing match. Christian seeks to dethrone Jack Swagger from the ECW reign, and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat has unfinished business with Chris Jericho. The superstars of Raw, SmackDown, and ECW suffer the backlash. This is probably my favorite pay per view of 2009. This is a really, really good pay-per-view. Uh, six matches on the card, which is good, because then each match got a good amount of time. Um, last man standing match for the World of the Championship. John Cena was Edge. This is a really, really good match. I really enjoyed this match. Um, what happened in the end was... Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Uh, John Cena actually went up to Attitude Adjust Edge on the stage, but then Big Show actually came out and interfered and ended up choke slamming John Cena into the spotlight, which I thought was awesome that that happened. I was shocked too. I was like, whoa, did that really just happen? And then, you know, John Cena was unable to get up, and then uh, Edge was able to win the World Heavyweight Championship. For, I forgot what time, but Edge just won the World Heavyweight Championship, which is, you know, cool to see Edge winning the World Heavyweight title, especially, you know, in a last minute standing match. I don't know what I'm saying, I'm just getting this off the top of my head. Next, you have the ECW Championship match. Jack Sawyer versus Christian. Good match, good match, really good match. What happened at the end was uh, Jack Sawyer is taking the turnbuckle off, and uh, Christian's on the other side and taking the other turnbuckle off. So when Swagger ran at him, Christian moved all the way, and his head hit the, the, the exposed turnbuckle, and he ends up kill switching Jack Swagger to win the ECW Championship. Pretty good match. I quit match Jeff Hardy versus Matt Hardy. Pretty good I quit match. I didn't like the ending though, how it ended, because uh, all I did was uh, Jeff Hardy uh, tied Matt Hardy to a table and was on a ladder about to jump on him. And Matt's like, I'm sorry, Jeff, for everything I did. He ends up saying, I quit, I quit. But Jeff Hardy just ends up jumping off the ladder still and splashing on the Matt Hardy and winning the I quit match. Next is a six man tag team match for the WWE Championship Triple H, Batista, and Shane McMahon versus Rain Yorn, Cody Rhodes, and Ted DiBiase. I actually like this match. Pretty good match. The ending was great, too. I loved the ending. What happened in the ending was, you know, everyone's just beating everybody up. And Triple H ran your legal man. Triple H went for the pedigree. And Batista went to hit Cody Rhodes with a steel chair. But if Triple H's team got DQ'd, uh, DQ'd or counted out, you know, Triple H lost the WWE title. So Triple H, you know, stopped Batista. They turned around and then ran your at the RKO and pinned him. He got the 1 2 count. But it made it even better at the. the the timekeeper actually rang the bell, so you thought the match was already over. And then, you know, you see the ref saying, no, it's a two count. And Triple H is trying to get back up. Then Randy Orton ends up punting, uh, punt, or punt, punting, whatever you want to say, punt kicking Triple H in the skull and winning the WWE Championship. And I, I thought that was just great. Um, Ricky the Dragon Steam over versus Chris Jericho. Pretty good match. I really actually, this was actually pretty good. Uh, Chris Jericho ended up getting the win after. And pale the wall of Jericho on Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And Ricky just tapped out to it. But anyways, it was a good match. Uh, Kane. CM Punk versus Kane. It was decent. It, no, it was, you know, it was decent. Nothing special about it. But uh, what happened was CM Punk ends up the kick. Uh, they tried to kick uh, Kane in the head. CM Punk did. And Kane grabbed CM Punk's throat. Ends up choke slumming him. Pinning him to 1-2-3. And they had the great call. He kissed Cam. With Santino Morello, it's not even worth talking about that. And they had the home video exclusive at the after match of the six man tag team match, Backlash April 26, 2009. So, this is my review on Backlash 2009. Very good pay per view, very solid. My favorite of 2009. Uh, tomorrow, guys, reviewing um, 
WrestleMania No Way Out in Royal Rumble. Uh, I'll put those back. There we go. So, those are the 09s once again. Sorry these reviews are getting too short. It's just really nothing to talk about in the pay per views except for like your thoughts on the match. But, anyways, that's my review. Thanks for watching, and I'm out, guys. Thanks for watching again.